As U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris met with leaders of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, an empty chair with Myanmar's flag served as a reminder from ASEAN that the country must return to democracy, a message underscored by Harris. The United States will continue to press the regime to end the horrific violence, to release all those unjustly detained, and to reestablish Myanmar's path to inclusive democracy. Earlier this week, ASEAN leaders announced they would bar Myanmar from its turn as chair in 2026, appointing the Philippines instead, as they blame the country's ongoing bloodshed following the 2021 coup by the junta. Meeting at the summit sidelines, Harris and Indonesian President Joko Widodo announced plans to upgrade the country's ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership, the highest level for a non-treaty ally. As a comprehensive strategic partner, the U.S. support is expected for the success of the ASEAN summit, including ensuring the relevance of the East Asia summit. Harris' visit comes at a time of sharpened geopolitical rivalries and heightened tensions in the region. Chinese Premier Li Chang also met with ASEAN leaders in Jakarta. To keep differences under control, what is essential now is to oppose picking sides, oppose block confrontation, and oppose a new Cold War. Differences and disputes between countries must be properly handled. Leaders ended their day with a gala dinner, held outdoors in a city park despite a recent spike in Jakarta smog. On Thursday, they will be attending the East Asia Summit, which brings together ASEAN and its partners, the U.S., China, Russia, Australia, India, Japan, New Zealand, and South Korea. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Jakarta.